In this video, we're going to look at the second order derivative. So, so far we have looked at uh, how to find dy by dx, in other words, the first derivative. Whenever you differentiate again, you get d2y over dx squared. This is called the second derivative. Um, also, you will have seen f, uh, f dashed x like so for the first derivative. When you, whenever you differentiate that again, you'd get f dash dash or x f double dash x like that okay this and this is the second order derivative and it's what you get whenever you differentiate a function and differentiate again okay let's have a look at an example so here we've got y equals 4x cubed plus 5 and the question asks to find a dy by dx and b d2y over dx squared so uh, first of all, let's start off with a. So a, let's find what dy by dx is. So first of all, we, we know y equals 4x cubed plus 5. Well, let's differentiate this. So dy by dx would equal, bringing the 3 down, 12x squared. And differentiating 5 gives you 0. So the answer would be 12x squared. So dy by dx is 12x squared. Next, we want to find b d2y over dx squared. So we want to differentiate again. So d2y over dx squared would equal, when you differentiate this, you bring the two down, so 24x, and reduce the power by one, well that's one. So the answer would be 24x. So to get d2y over dx squared, you differentiate and you differentiate again, or you just differentiate your dy by dx. Next, this time we're given that y equals 5x squared plus 5 over x squared. And we've been asked to find dy by dx and then d2y by dx squared. So let's first of all start off with a. So y equals 5x squared plus 5 over x squared. First of all, before we differentiate this, we want to get this into a format that's easily differentiable. Differentiable? <laughs> it's easily, they can easily differentiate. So uh, let's look at this x squared on the denominator and let's bring it up. So we're going to get y equals 5x squared plus, bringing this up would be 5x to the minus 2. Now we can differentiate. So d to, uh, dy by dx equals, bring the power down, 10x to the power of 1. Bring the power down to so 5 times minus 2 is minus 10 x and whenever you reduce the power by 1 minus 2 take away 1 would be minus 3 so dy by dx is 10x minus 10x to the power of minus 3 part b is we need to differentiate again find d2y by dx squared so d2y over dx squared equals differentiating 10x would be 10 uh, bringing the power down minus 10 times minus 3 would be plus 30 x and reducing the power by 1 which would be to the power of minus 4. So d2y over dx squared would be 10 plus 30 x to the power of minus 4. Remember we could rearrange both of these back into a format which you may want to substitute values into. So here we had 10 x minus and instead of writing minus 10 x to the minus 3 we could bring the x to the minus 3 to the denominator so you'd get 10 over x squared, uh, cubed and likewise here you could have 10 plus 30 and you could bring the x to the 4 to the denominator to give you x to the 4 like that okay uh, so that's it